Welcome back to my YouTube channel, everybody. We are going to be doing a Chipotle mukbang. Welcome back to the YouTube channel. Today, I will be filming something very different than what I typically film. I will be filming a Chipotle mukbang. So my Chipotle order just got in. Um, I ordered delivery and I'll be answering some commonly asked questions and so we're gonna do a quick little q a louis is really excited about the video um but we, we're gonna be doing a little quick q a and be answering a few questions so stay tuned okay what's up welcome back so tonight we are having chipotle and we will be doing a mukbang series of questions okay so my order Chipotle, I ordered a ordered a large chips and queso. For sure, I ordered a burrito bowl. So we've got the large chips here. Oh, so good. And they always have like a hint of lime. My large, massive queso. And I ordered my beans on the side because I don't like beans, but sometimes I'll eat them for protein. Sour cream on the side. My green salsa, red salsa, and my Chipotle bowl. So as you can see, here it is, my order, and it says, just for me, Ashley. questions sorted okay so question number one have you ever met someone famous um i think i've only ever met like c-list celebrities but no i've never met anybody famous um, at least not that I can remember, so that's that. I've been to a couple concerts, and um, yeah, I went to see Lee Bryce, um, Low Cash, uh, a couple places and people that I went to go see in concert, so that was great. Mmm, that's so good. By the way, and by the way, guys, I am having a lime seltzer water. Y'all, yeah, the chips are so good. So, question number two Would you like to be famous? The answer to that question is no, I do not want to be famous. I have no intentions of wanting to be famous. I want to be successful. Um, so I want to, you know, accomplish getting my PhD, which I'm a year and a half shy of doing that, working on my dissertation. Um, I want to be helpful to others and just really give back um, to people who are less fortunate, but also to you know, support those who were once in my situation or like just a struggling student who, you know, wants to really do well. And I'm, I'm pretty much doing that now in my dream job. So I'm so thankful to God for that. Um, so no, I do not aspire to be famous. Question number three. If you could change one thing that happened, what would it be? Um, to be honest with you guys, I like to live my life with no regret. And so I really can't say that I have
have any regrets. Um, I do, I'm a strong believer in fate and that things are meant to be. And give me one second. That's so good. I also brought my Tabasco because I love having it on there. So I don't know yet. I'm not in the mood for it right now, but I brought it over from my kitchen. Um, but yeah, so as far as regret, I don't have any, um, I just don't think that you should live your life with any regret. You should just kind of, you know, do the right things. And, um, if you've done something wrong in your life, you know, it's okay to ask for forgiveness and apologize to those who hurt you. But no, I don't believe in mistakes. Well, I should say that. I don't believe in regrets. So I don't know if I answered that question, but there's that. The next question was, if you could live anywhere, where would that be? Um, Louie, come here, Bubby. Why are you crying? Um, but yeah, so the next question is, if you could live anywhere, where would that be? Tell y'all the truth. If I could live anywhere, it would definitely be here somewhere in North Carolina. Um, probably somewhere that has like nicer malls they, they really filled this one up um so maybe somewhere in charlotte or raleigh um or south carolina i would love to live in like charleston south carolina it's got some really beautiful places to eat and things to do kind of spilled a little bit so i ordered the steak with half steak or half steak half carnitas oh it's really good Question 
Number six, who would be your ideal partner? So if I could choose a person that I would spend the rest of my life with, a husband, it would definitely be someone who is God-fearing, first and foremost, someone trustworthy, loyal, and hardworking, and also someone with the same level of ambition that I have. So I would want to, you know, be with someone who has similar tastes in music like I do, and just someone who is family oriented, and also someone who loves dogs like me. We're gonna have periodic interruptions, so sorry about that, guys. Um, okay, so question number seven. Do you still have your childhood teddy bear? No, I don't have my childhood teddy bear. But I do have um, a stuffed frog um, that I actually that was actually passed down to me from my big shout out to her, Amanda, um, from my sorority. So yeah, um, I do have that stuffed animal, um, but it's a keepsake that I'm probably going to pass down to um, my little sister or to my daughter, God willing, that I have one. Um, so that's that question. Question number, <coughs> question number eight, how many pairs of shoes do you have? Now they knew what they were doing when they made these questions because I can tell you right now, I cannot count how many shoes I have. I wouldn't be able to count how many shoes I have, but I would say probably in the range of 150 to 200 pairs of shoes. I love to shop. Um, fashion is my thing. Everybody else has like, you know, their thing that they love to collect, but I definitely love fashion, style, um, and handbags. Definitely a handbag nerd. Um, but yeah, I like things with good quality, so, you know, I can tell you uh, fun facts about that, so I can't wait to make videos about that. Um, the next question here is, what is your favorite holiday? No, what is your favorite holiday? Beach, vacation, beach, mountain. What is your favorite holiday? Beach, mountain, or city? So I presume that this person was trying to ask, like, what is your favorite, like, type of vacation that you like to go on? Because I know, like, people from different areas say holiday. Um... But number one, it would always be the beach, hands down. I just love going to the beach. Calm down, Louis, seriously. Um, I love going to the beach. And yeah, I would have to say the beach. And then number two would be um, the mountains. Definitely want to visit Boulder, Colorado. Uh, and then third, a girl's trip to Nashville. <coughs> Louis says, yeah. But yeah, it would be a girl's trip. Oh, and I want to go to Vegas so I can see J-Lo and Celine in concert. So that's definitely an ideal vacation for me. Hawaii. I did not realize how messy this would be. Anyway, I would have to say Hawaii. Um, Japan, Disney World Japan. I know that's not what it's called, but yeah. And then also Disney World. Yeah. Because me and my family, we go every year. <coughs> We go every year to Disney, but unfortunately, we were not able, but unfortunately we were not able to go this year because of COVID. Um, but we're planning to go. So we're planning to go really soon. So yeah. Next question. Let's see. Do you like talent TV shows? Not really. I don't catch myself watching talent TV shows. Um, but yeah, I like the love TV shows like Bachelorette, 
um, Love Island, all of those shows I love watching. Next question, what's your opinion on reality TV? Okay, so I like reality TV, but I know that it's not real. So I like I get the concept, but I enjoy watching it. I find it to be very entertaining, so to speak. Um, but if I could choose like a reality, my favorite reality show would be Southern Charm for sure. And then it would probably be like Love Island or something like that. I love those dating TV shows. They're just really entertaining. And then as far as game shows go, I would say Big Brother and things like that. Cause like I, my sister and my mom and I, we watch Big Brother, Big Brother a lot. So we follow that show. But yeah, I'm not really like super into like Real Housewives or like any of that stuff, but I like the dating shows. Um, what, let's see, do you like scary movies? Yes, I love scary movies, but I cannot watch them at all. Like not by myself, but I like watching them. I like the storyline behind them. Um, favorite TV show would definitely have to be The Insidious. The insidious movies I think those are super scary I get scary just thinking about those movies um Sinister was really scary and I also like those scary tv shows like Haunting of Bly Manor, Haunting of Hill House, love anything with a really good um storyline so yeah have you ever fired a real gun I don't know why this question is here but the answer to that is actually no um, I'd like to learn how to, but the answer to that is no. Um, last film that you've watched. So the last movie I watched was, oh yeah, 2020 on Netflix. That was crazy. It was so funny. Um, yeah, it was just like an ode to the year 2020 from the makers of Black Mirror. Um, and I thought that that was just like super, super duper Louis, move. Super funny. Um, Samuel Jackson did really good in that, so I enjoyed that. Um, and then the last question is, have you ever cried during a movie? The answer to that question is actually, yes, I have cried during a movie. I actually cried during the movie um, Breaking Dawn 2 in movie theaters. It was just so cute and such a beautiful love story and I'm just a big Twilight fan so yeah any other movies I've cried during um Titanic yeah so guys I hope you guys enjoy so guys, I hope you guys enjoyed watching my mukbang. I really enjoyed talking to you guys. Um, feel free to like, comment, and subscribe down below. Um, and if you have any suggestions of videos that you would like for me to film, don't forget to comment down below. Um, and yeah, if you want to see more videos like this, like question and answer, let me know. But again, it was really nice watching. It. Um, it was really nice filming this video. I had a great time eating Chipotle, obviously. One of my favorite places to eat. So yeah, you guys. Um, I'll see you guys next time. <coughs>